In this video, we're going to cover setting up additional tools. In the first video, we showed setting up tool number one, which was this right-hand cut-off tool. This video, we're going to go ahead and cover going over a parting tool or a grooving tool. So we're going to start by going into setup, tool setup, and then tool number two, absolute set, and then set new. And we're doing a cutoff tool, so number six, absolute set. And now what we have to do is move the machine to a known X value, and then we're going to put that value in the controller. And we'll also do the same thing for the Z axis as well. All right, so now we're going to move over, and we're going to do a light cut on outside of this part to establish the Z axis. We're going to measure this diameter with the micrometer and then we're going to put that value in the controller. After measuring our part that we just cut with the grooving tool, it measured the X.745 and put absolute set. Now we're going to set the Z. For setting the Z axis, I like to use a, little, a known height of a block. This is a gauge block. You can also use other things as long as it's a nice ground surface. And we had already established this uh, base here to be Z0 with tool number one. So what we need to do now is find out the position of this one. So I like to start with the tool inwards a little bit and the gap where the block does not fit in. Put the controller on find mode and then move it away until it just slips in. All right, it just slipped in. So now that distance from the edge of the tool over is the width of the block, which in this case is 0.1 inches. And we just simply put that 0.1 into the controller in the Z location. Do not come over and bring the, the tool bit into the part, because if you overshoot it, you're gonna break your tool bit. So always start with it closer to the part and move away from the block until it just slips in. Now we're on our Z right now, so we're going to put our Z of 0.1 inches in, and that's set. What this X modifier and Z modifier is for is after you run your first part, if you notice the diameter is, say, 1 thousandth of an inch too big, you would simply put a negative point zero zero one in here, and it will adjust it accordingly without affecting any of the other tools before it or after it. And when you're done there, just simply go return, and you're done for setting up the next that tool.